Hey, my friends, Dave Williamson here, and I've got a really cool tool that I use for photos. I want to show you how to use it. It's 100% free. I'm going to go over to Google here and just show you how to download it real quick, and I'll show you some cool things I've done with it. Um, it's called Photoscape. I'm sure a lot of people have typed this in. Here you go. Photoscape download. You can type Photoscape download in there, and virtually the first page of Google will show you all the downloads. It's an easy program to find, but uh, I'm just going to click here, Photoscape download. You can probably get this program at any one of these links. Um, click free download, save it to your desktop, and I am going to close this window, and I'm going to pull up Photoscape, which I have running down here in my taskbar. Let me show you a couple of cool things with this. Okay, now in Photoscape, uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to want to go to the view uh, editor, and that's right here. So just open that up. It's going to show all the files on the computer over here, and these are my images that are on my computer. But for sake of doing this, um, for you guys, and, and especially for you guys that have never used this program, I'm just going to go to Google and get it, get some image, get an image here to work with. I'm going to click on images. I'm going to type in. Um, Let's just try type in people. Okay, just keep this video short. Okay, here's uh, some video or some uh, images of people. So I'm going to come down here and what I'll do is just, uh, i tell you what, let's just use this one here. We got a guy on a motorcycle here. He looks like he's pretty relaxed there. I could be out riding right now. Um, anyway, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to just name this motorcycle cycle okay and you want to save this on your desktop because it's going to be a lot easier to get to your photos so if you any temporary photos you're just using to work on real quick or upload to your server or whatever you want to put them on your desktop because you're always going to be having to access them and that's the quickest way to access them you also want to save it as all files and put dot png on the end of it because png uh, it usually has carries more clarity when you upload it to any websites uh, than a JPEG, and it takes less room. So I'm going to save this on my desktop as motorcycle, okay? And now we're going to go to our program, Photoscape. Now I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to bring our picture into Photoscape, and there it is, okay? And all I did was shut my menu out here so I can work in, the, in here. Now, first of all, if you want to resize this, all you have to do is come to home. Make sure you're on home. Come down here to resize. And it's 435. Now I can make it 300. And it'll, with pictures, you're better off to keep this box checked to preserve the aspect ratio. Because with a lot of photos, Pictures that are photos, actual photos of people, it, they will distort them. So you want to maintain that aspect ratio. Click OK. You see I got smaller there. And I can resize it even smaller. If I want to make it 200, um, it, it'll it automatically resize it and, and maintain its aspect ratio. So anyway, that's how you resize it. Now, if I wanted to write something on here, I could go to Object and click the T over here. That's Text. And... Let's see here. I'll just put test, okay? And I can make that writing anything I want. I can make it red, okay? And move it around and put it right up there. Or I could just uh, make it a whole lot bigger. Or we could change the writing again. And let's change this to something we can see. Now, I can't see that too off, too well there. Um, try blue. blue. Blue works okay. Um, there's a lot of other things you could do here, but just for sake of argument, that's how you put your text in there. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the other tools. Um, you can come down here and click this star button right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, you click the star button and you can choose how many points you want, but what I'm going to do is uh, choose 20 points. And I'm just going to show you something pretty cool here. Now, this, this star is red. And what I'll do is just make it white and watch this. I'll come over here, put my star in here. Okay. And then I can come down here and click on text and change this to 12, small. We'll put it in black and we'll put, click here for more, more info. Okay. And I'll put my link. 
Dave, D. Williamson, dot com. Okay. Now, we can need to change the font because I'm using Impact here. And that, and, and incidentally, if you want something to stand out, use this font, Impact. It's pretty cool, too. But I'm going to change this to Verdana. Okay. And I'll click OK. And actually, what I can do here is put that right in here. And we will make this even smaller. And we'll make our print smaller. Uh, let's see here. Click. Click here for more info. Okay. Now let's center this up. Click OK. And as you can see, what I'm getting at here is, and I could spend a, a while resizing this until it fits. But, um, matter of fact, I'll just make it easier for you. I'll just put click here for more info, and that way you can see it. You see it in my picture there? Um, that's another cool little groovy trick you can do there. Or you can use these stars down here to make a regular 10-point star. And you can make it any color you want. Now, you can make it red. Come down here, put a star in there. You put a star in here. Uh, you can make change the colors on these stars, which I don't think this is. We'll put one on his shoulder. Ah, pretty cool place for it. Put it. Now you could also do a box. You can come in here and put a box in here. Now my picture's getting kind of screwy looking, isn't it? <laughs> and that's okay. These are for just sake of arguments. There's your box, and then you can put writing in your box. Come back over here. Choose this and put it up in that box. I mean, there's a lot of things. If you get in here and play, you can really create some neat stuff. You could even put another photo inside this photo. Just click right here, photo. Um, let's just go and get one of my photos, okay? I'll go over here where I keep my photos. Desktop quickies. Uh, this is here, my seven-figure networker photo. We'll take that. See, you can take that and put that right down here. Make it big. Make you a nice picture here to match your, uh, match the, uh, benefits you're trying to portray to your visitors, which, uh, I go a lot into in the timeline cover feature. So, uh, you, you really should go over there and watch that triple video training. I, I've, I've done all that personal training myself. Live screenshot. I zoom in to show you actually how to do 3D, all kinds of neat stuff. Um, let me show you one more thing. In Photoscape, that is really cool. And then I'm going to get off of here, and I'll leave it to you. If you want to go over and watch the blog uh, training series on this, it's 100% free. Um, okay, here we go. Click on Photoscape. This is cool, too. Click on Screen Capture right here, okay? Now, let me open our browser back up, okay? Let's get back over to Google, okay? Now, just say... Um, Dave D. Williams. Let's go to my site, okay? Let's go to my site. Now, watch this. Just say you want to do some screen capture shots here, okay? Now, just say that I want to just this part of my post. Now, first of all, I'm going to capture the window. Click on that. Click on my screen. And uh, we don't want to save this photo, so I don't really care about that. Okay. Okay, so here's our screenshot, okay? DaveDWilliamson.com. Now, we're going to come over to Crop. And we're going to crop this out right here. We'll crop this out. All right. I'm going to click crop. And look what we got here. Now we got a photo. Okay. Now I can save that to my desktop. And I can take that and put that. Matter of fact, I did that in my timeline cover photo. Let me show you. See these right here? These are 3D. And this is another thing I show you how to do. Take these screenshots and make them 3D. You can do a lot of stuff here uh, for free if you just know how. My father used to always say, anything's easy if you know how. Hey, it's the truth. So that's what I'm here for to teach you, make it easy. Hey, I've got to cut this video short. Just wanted to share this with you. Get over to DaveDWilliamson.com. Uh, scroll down to the second post. You can learn how to make your own timeline photo cover. It's custom. Or visit me over here on my page. Give me a like. Leave me a note. I'd like to get to know you. Um, there's a lot of free training uh, there's a free gift pack here. It's full of value. It's all personal, 100% free video training. How to set up, manage, automate your social media. All kinds of neat stuff. Hey, love being your friend. Let's see you on the other side. Catch you later.